Russia could attack NATO as early as 2026, Polish president. Russia may have the military capability to attack NATO as early as 2026 to 2027. Polish President Andrzej Duda said this in an interview with CNBC. The Polish president defended his recent proposal to increase the required threshold for NATO defense spending from 2 to 3 percent of GDP. From my point of view, it's a question of common sense. New reports are coming in and I recently saw one by German experts which said that soon, perhaps as early as 2026 or 2027, Putin, by putting his economy on a war footing, will have such military might that he will be able to attack NATO. Duda said, the alarm bells are ringing. We have two or three years in which we can increase our efforts, stockpile ammunition and produce weapons to maximize European security. Get ready and make sure the invasion does not happen, he urged. He also urged the US to continue to support Ukraine, warning that if Russia is not stopped in Ukraine, the cost will rise sharply later. The Russian aggression has to be stopped at all costs. If it's not stopped, it will spill over and then I fear US money won't be enough to stop Russia. US soldiers will have to step in and no one wants that, Duda said. At the same time, he said that every dollar donated to support Ukraine, every Bradley transferred to Ukraine, every weapon transferred to Ukraine, every box of artillery ammunition transferred to Ukraine staves off the Russian victory. Earlier, German intelligence services had prepared an analysis for the German government examining the military threat posed by Russia, which predicted that it could attack the territory of NATO member states starting in 2026. In recent weeks, a number of European NATO countries have warned of the risk of Russian aggression in the near future. For example, German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius said in January that the alliance should prepare for a Russian attack on a NATO country within five to eight years. NATO troops are already in Ukraine for arms control. NATO troops are already in Ukraine for arms control, intelligence operations and training, according to El País. The agency has interviewed many military sources from Ukraine and the EU over more than two years of war, and they all agree that no NATO army has taken part in ground combat. But they also agree that they have informants on the ground who provide information about the situation on the front line, determine the effectiveness of the weapons being supplied and possible problems in their use, and identify possible cases of corruption in the delivery of aid. Some of these official informants are retired foreign military personnel who volunteer to fight in the Ukrainian armed forces. At least two sources, one American and one Ukrainian, claim that Washington is particularly active in monitoring their assistance, organizing missions between its embassy and the Ukrainian authorities, as well as visiting them outside official channels. The alliance's military is not directly involved in combat operations in Ukraine, the paper asserted. It also mentioned Polish Foreign Minister Radislav Sikorski, who told a conference in Warsaw that NATO soldiers are already present in Ukraine, but as compared to other politicians, he would not specify the countries that they had come from. The Polish Foreign Minister's statement, as the paper said, could be seen as criticism of German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who said in late February that British and French forces were present in Ukraine. Retired foreign servicemen fighting on Ukraine's side allegedly on a voluntary basis are among unofficial informants. Besides, two sources told the paper that Washington was controlling its aid especially actively. French President Emmanuel Macron said after a French meeting on February the 26th that representatives of about 20 Western states had discussed further support to Kiev in the conflict with Moscow and raised the issue of potentially sending troops to Ukraine. He said that participants in the discussion had reached no consensus on this issue, but this scenario could not be ruled out in the future. Later, Macron explained that not ruling something out does not mean doing it. As Russian President Vladimir Putin stressed, Russia is aware of the presence of NATO forces in Ukraine, where they are perishing in large numbers.
China threatens to boycott Ukraine peace talks without Russia. China may boycott peace talks on resolving the war in Ukraine if Europe does not allow Russia to participate in them, according to Politico. The news agency spoke with officials who reported that China is trying to persuade Europe to allow Russia to participate in future peace talks, possibly to be held in Switzerland. Otherwise, China will boycott such meetings. That message was amplified, they say, during Chinese special envoy Li Wei's European tour earlier this month to discuss the future of Ukraine, the material states. And officially, the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced that Li Wei promised support for the timely convening of a peace conference with equal participation of all parties. Earlier, Chinese President Xi Jinping presented his vision of a diplomatic resolution to Russia's war against Ukraine and appointed a special representative to address the issue. This representative is China's former ambassador to Russia, Li Wei. After his appointment, Li Wei visited Russia, Ukraine and the EU to discuss the Chinese initiative. Kyiv does not appreciate Beijing's diplomatic efforts as Ukraine already has its own peace formula. After that, China forgot about the issue of Russia's war against Ukraine for a long time. It was previously reported that China's special envoy, Li Wei, would visit Ukraine, Poland, Germany, France and Russia. His tour began on March the 2nd. The Chinese diplomat has already visited Ukraine as well as Brussels and Poland. Li Wei discussed Russia's war against Ukraine, calling it the Ukrainian crisis. Against the backdrop of the special envoy's tour, China's foreign minister announced that Beijing supports holding a peace conference on Ukraine. The EU expects China, as a permanent member of the UN Security Council, to play a constructive role and use any opportunity to defend and promote the UN Charter and international law. The EU emphasized that it expects China to call on Russia to immediately and unconditionally respect the principles of sovereignty, independence and territorial integrity by withdrawing all forces and military equipment from the entire territory of Ukraine within its internationally recognized borders.